Ooh, what's up nerds? So for the longest time I've wondered why people like free things but don't know where to get them. Like you should know what is free and what isn't, right? If you should maximize anything in this lifetime, I see no downsides with this. Now I'm a firm believer that information is free and because of this, boosting your IQ is not as hard as it used to be. When I'm not doing anything that I should be doing, I'm ruining people's days on Ask.fm with the most pedestrian user base I had ever seen. So if you want your day ruined, you should go there because it is a great place to mess with people. But when it comes to boosting your IQ, like any other lifestyle change, you might also consider the consequences. People don't like it when you do that, but according to this chart, I don't care. It's a good way to ruin your life if you haven't done so already. It doesn't matter if you couldn't navigate your way to the Circle K, but build a bomb and all of a sudden everyone wants to give you a list of things to do and none of them are escape plans. Typical scummy behavior. Whenever someone's in trouble, they want to grab as many people as possible to drag down hell with them. Heaven is empty after all. But what I'm talking about here is that being good at getting good at things is something people value in other people. Everyone wants to be the master, no one wants to be the slave, everyone wants Jesus to come back to swipe his credit card one more time so we can immediately charge back all our sins. Those are some big plays from the morally bankrupt, but as we all know, ever since the first swipe, humanity has been one catastrophic success. Now I'm hardly the first person to talk about this, but one of the most egregious examples of midwit hypocrisy I've seen time and time again is that people hate and want change. And it's a great reminder of your place on the totem pole because you've got to remember that most are literally born quitters. This is in fact the funnest fact because, well, I'm sure you've played Monopoly before. I think it's important to address that one day we're going to have the internet projected into our brains pruned and groomed by some unemployed suburbanite kids cosplay and functional adults thought police and all your Minecraft related socially unacceptable intrusive of thoughts such as why do people who are emotionally children do poorly thought out things? Gee, I wonder. But since I want to get monetized one day, I guess we'll never know. The thing about IQ is that it's separated into book smart, unusable garbage you'll forget in a week, and street smarts that are learned, not taught, and you'll never forget the pain of learning them. The real measure of IQ aside from the test they make you take when you eventually get drafted is through increased perception on the battlefield. So when you start asking yourself questions like, why do the girls I like keep sending me links to viruses? You've leveled up and there's no turning back. Now say it without crying and always remember to smash that like button like the girls who smashed your self-esteem.